Let's set up your first dashboard. We'll start by giving your dashboard a title. Let's call it Website New Users. Now obviously this dashboard needs some content. So let's insert some metrics. We can also add images and text, but we're going to stick with metrics today. And I know that I have some Google Analytics 4 metrics that I want to add. I'm going to choose percent new users and new users. Now I know that I want to see new users two different ways. So I'm actually going to add this one twice. So here we are. You've added two unique metrics and two instances of the same one. And I'll show you what we'll do with those. Every time you click on one of these metrics and bring it into focus, you expose all of its configuration details on the right side panel here. So let's go ahead and change this one to be a number. And let's also add a comparison period. Now there's no comparison data showing up, so that's likely because the date range we have. So let's change this to show the last 30 days. And there we go. Now we have a percent increase over time. Let's do the same thing to this metric as well. And let's see that as a number. And I'll add a comparison period to this one as well. Let's start by laying these out a little differently. Every metric you can move around on the screen. You can do the same with images and text, of course. For new users, I want to move this one down here and size it to be nice and big so that we can see trends over time. Now, I also want to see percent new users over here, but visualized differently. I didn't add that one twice when I initially added the metrics to the dashboard, but I can easily duplicate any metric using this button. I can also delete them. But let's duplicate this one here and we're going to change the visualization type. I want to see this as a whole bunch of individual colored bars, but I don't want to plot it over time. So instead of over time, I'm going to select channel. This is the same segmentation we've chosen over here. There, that, that looks perfect. Now there are a few other settings you have when setting up your dashboard. So if you click up here, or this little filter icon, you'll see that you can add dashboard level filters. This works well for us because all of the metrics we've added to the dashboard have the same two segmentations in their data. So as I add these filters, they will operate on all of the metrics on this dashboard. The other thing you can do, if you go back to dashboard settings, you'll see that you can apply different color assignments. So right now you can see that, for example, direct is green here and it's green here as well. I can change that to display order so that each metric displays its colors individually per metric as opposed to across the whole dashboard. And the other thing I can do is I can apply custom colors to any label as well. So let's say we wanted to make direct red instead of green. I'll find that label here and we'll click on red and maybe we'll make it a little less intense. And there we go. Perfect. Now we could go ahead and save this, but before we do, you may want to consider settings for the dashboard defaults. Defaults are helpful when sharing the dashboard with colleagues for the first time. For example, you may want them looking at the past seven days. You may want to only show mobile and desktop. And let's say we want to exclude email from the channels. Now you're ready to save your dashboard and share it with your team. And as your colleagues open this dashboard for the first time, it will be properly configured with your defaults, but they can always override filters and date ranges at any time. Sharing is easy. 
add users to your account and then add them here or use this link. And of course, print your dashboards and impress your colleagues by using beautiful PDFs. That's it. And if you ever need to go and edit your dashboard again, that's this little icon up here.